Hey guys, it's Harpstone. Welcome back to the FIFA 13 video and today I'm bringing you guys a, a team of the season review on Dejan Damajanovic. I think I s said that right. Oh, it's such a hard name to say. But let's look at his on the card stats. He's got 84 pace, 82 shooting, 73 passing, 79 dribbling, 54 defending and 84 heading. I brought him for 36,750 coins and he's got 4 star weak foot and he's also got 3 star skill moves. He plays for FC Seoul in the K League. His nationality is Montenegro. He's a striker and I played him, uh, I played him in the 4 2 3 1 formation. Let's look at his in game stats. He has 86 pace, uh, acceleration, sorry, 83 agility, 78 jumping, 81 reactions, 84 sprint speed. 96 strength, that's pretty beast. Uh, 39 aggression, uh, 72 attack and positioning, 72 vision, 81 ball control, 85 curve, 80 dribbling, 95 finishing, 81 heading accuracy, uh, 70 long shots, uh, sorry, 83 long shots, my bad, 82 penalties, 83 shot power, and 78 volleys. He's got high attack and work rate, a low defensive work rate, and he stands at 6 foot. Alright guys, so now we talked about their card stats and in-game stats, let's talk a little bit more in depth about them. So, obviously at 84 pace, you look at that and you think, yeah, that's really, really good. And I do as well. Um, sometimes he can feel a bit sluggish on the ball. He seems to have these random turns where one moment he's running past the defender really, really quickly. And the other moment he seems to be really sluggish. Can't get past the likes of Colachini. It's really quite frustrating, but I wouldn't worry worry so, sorry too much about that because I think he really is a good player when it's speeding against the defender. He's obviously got high attacking work rate and a low defensive work rate, which is really really vital for the attackers because. I have reviewed quite a few people, as you may know, who seem to have a medium, medium work rate and they seem to be sitting on the halfway line and their striker. This means, because he's got high second work rate, low defensive work rate, he's going to be up there in your attacks and he'll be scoring a lot more goals. He's also got great, fantastic shooting stats, 90 to 5 finishing, even though sometimes I seem to see him that he actually misses quite a few chances. Um, this is nothing to worry about because his goal scoring record for me was really really good He just score most times I've not and he has an absolutely fantastic long shot But unfortunately, I wasn't able to get too many clock cl Sorry too many clips with his long shot because uh, he kept hitting the bar etc etc He's got good three star skill moves so that definitely satisfies me and he's also got a good four star weak foot even though um, I didn't score any goals don't fit with his left foot um so that was a bit of a disappointment, but you know, looking at his uh, when he did have the ball and shot with his left foot, you know, it's pretty decent and he hasn't got like an awkward shot with his left foot and he means that he'll be able to play two-footed most of the time. Um, his dribbling is really, really good for attacker, 79 dribbling. What this means is that when he's one-on-one -on -one with a, a defender, he'll be able to run past them really easily because of his pace and a dribbling effect. Um, his heading, headering, sorry, is really, really good. As you guys can see, I score quite a few headers with him. You know, just cross the ball into him. Just cross with him. You know, cross the ball into him. He'll most times are not get his head over it. He jumps over defenders very, very easily due to his 78 in jumping, and that is absolutely amazing. And he's got because of his heading accuracy. And you know his strength overall, he'll be able to header it fastly. Well, not not really fastly, but header it on target and with a bit of strength into the back of the net. Most times that I'm not. Um, I did have a bit of problem with his when he's one on one with a defender. Even though he has 96 strength, which by the way is really really beast. It kind of is a letdown that he has actually 39 aggression. So that kind of cancels out the 96 strength. And I was quite disappointed when I saw that because when I was playing in game. I I did actually see that he was getting tussled out of the ball quite easily, so that's a bit of a disappointment. But um, I played him in the 4-2-3-1 formation, but I would kind of recommend that you actually play him in a 3-5-2 because I saw that it's quite isolated sometimes as a I, I as a lone as a lone striker in the 4-2-3-1 formation. 
and because of his fighting and aggression, it doesn't really suit him. So I definitely recommend you go pick him up. You know, he's quite cheap. His price definitely is going to drop over the next few days. So it's kind of your choice when you go buy him. But as I said, I'd probably give him about an 8 out of 10. But if it wasn't for his bad, bad aggression, he would have been an absolutely amazing player. So you guys don't mind dropping a like and subscribe to a heart star. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Yep, yeah, see you guys.